Hello, everyone. Welcome to the What's Working Now interview. And today I'm so excited to have one of my most amazing friends, colleagues, clients with me, Scott Mascarelli. Welcome, Scott. Thank you, Karen. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm thrilled. Okay, I'm looking for my questions over on this other screen. <laughs> All right. You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. What you gotta do. Yeah. And we're on Be Live TV. So if you want to say hello to us, say hello. We may not see your name till afterwards, but we'll respond if you have any questions or anything. So Scott, tell us a, a little bit about yourself and your business. All right. Well, Scott Mascherelli and I've known you, Karen, for a long time, worked together as as your coach and we've also done some co-facilitation together which is always really exciting i have been coaching now for just about 10 years i'm the owner of clear insights coaching and i live in north virginia just outside the washington dc area i work with leaders literally all around the world because i do have clients all around the world and i help them to lead with greater ease and impact and i call it harmonic leadership by helping them bridge between their mind and their heart so to create that bridge so many times many of these leaders are in their head a lot and they're thinking and thinking and that's of course a very important aspect of leading is to plan and to strategize and they often ignore the intelligence of their heart so helping them create the harmony within so they can do that throughout their entire organization oh fantastic and um welcome jen i see you're here welcome all right. So Scott, you know, um, I'm curious because you do you do work with leaders all over the world. What's one of the most interesting places you've been to to work with a leader? Well, probably one of so I love traveling and I've been all over the world, as you know, one of the most interesting places that I've been to several times has been to Angola. I have a leadership assignment out there and I was actually there 30 days last year. So if anybody had ever told me in 2019, I'd be going three times and spend 30 days in Angola, I would not have believed it, but it was very interesting. It was an incredible learning experience for me and for them. It was really very, very rewarding. And um, I, I love the story of how, when you work with that leader, his wife wanted you to come over for dinner, right? Yeah, it was great. It's one of my one of my favorite success stories to tell because I love when there's third party observations. You know, it's really great when the client tells you the successes they've made and when you can see the successes. But when you do like 360 reviews with clients, employees and team members, that's also incredibly rewarding. But then when you get this unsolicited feedback and he said, you know, my wife would um he didn't say my wife. He said, I'd love for you to come and meet my family and see my life outside of the office mm -hmm. because we worked together for a year at that point. We did a lot of virtual work in between my three visits there. And I said, sure, that sounds great. So this was last December. We went there, had lunch, I met the family, the kids. And she said, I wanted to meet the person that was responsible for the changes that my husband has made. <sighs> and that blew me away because, you know, I know as, as we know in coaching, the changes that we make professionally also show up in our personal life. And that's always such a reminder to me that the clients, particularly leadership clients, will come into it for certain leadership goals, but they don't realize that they're changing themselves, the core of who they are. And then these changes show up in their life. And it was really powerful to hear his wife say that. Yeah, that's so cool. I just love yeah. that story. Yeah. And I'm curious, you know, we're talking about what's working now, but what worked for you to get a leadership coaching engagement in Angola of all places? How did that happen? Completely unexpected, let me tell you. <laughs> so trust me, I was not out there looking for it. It came through word of mouth and, the, and we worked together on this, right? You and I did. Mm -hmm. It was really a, a huge learning experience for me to be able to, to understand what it was that they needed and to prepare the proposal. And I think we talk about having a beginner's mindset. I really think for me, that was really important because when I went there, I didn't go there with a whole lot of collateral. I went there with myself and a laptop and with the philosophy of, I am going to simply be a coach. And it's very, you know, it's more common, I would say, for us to have a longer foundation session, hour and a half, two hours, but this was three and a half days. Oh, wow. Because I was with each of these leaders for three and a half days, observing them and really just observing everything that they did. And then initiating open, you know, candid conversations, very direct communication with them and establishing the goals from the coaching pro for the coaching program for the entire year based on 
the observations, the conversations, and also the results of 360 uh, feedback that had been submitted to me prior and, all, and then reviews with team members while I was there. So it was really a lot to pull together. And I just went into it the entire time with, I'm here as a coach to be fully present, to listen, and by trusting the process, I mean, I, I think about all of the times that I'll be facilitating coaching classes with new coaches, and I'll always remind them, just trust the process. It works. And I would tell myself, trust the process. You know, wait. Why am I talking? Don't talk. Listen. Learn more with your two ears than with when we're speaking. And just listen and observe and trust the process. And it worked. It worked incredibly well. And it's worked so well that I'm, I continue to do work with them. And that the leader that I just mentioned with that success story has become a huge uh, believer in and supporter of coaching so much so that we are doing more work with many managers in his company. During the pandemic now. During the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. So tell so me. Busier I mean, than ever. Busier yeah, than ever. Yeah. During tell the me pandemic. about this. Tell me because I just got a, a messenger this morning from somebody who said, you know, all over the world, and this is true, it's part, it's true that companies are losing money and they're not, they don't have the funding that they used to have. So what do you attribute this, um, you know, what do you attribute this to? What would you tell coaches who were saying that? How, how can they get these deals? Well, I think particularly with him because he's experienced it. So he has seen the dramatic results. And during the pandemic, one of his managers, a new manager in the commercial department, during the pandemic, right, he started in late December. We worked together for six months we, or seven months. We just finished. He created dramatic results in the commercial department with no previous commercial experience. And it was, I'm not going to say it's because of me, it's because of the coaching process, because he could strategize and brainstorm and use the sessions to really define his next steps. And so much so that he had better results, the company had better results in May, June, and July than they did in the last 18 months. Wow. Now you tell wow. me, right? Which is surprising in a mm -hmm. pandemic. It's a manufacturing company. So because this, this leader, the owner of the company has experienced coaching, is still, is still participating in coaching, uh, what I did as a coach is I said, I would like to try something new with you. Uh, you know, we've worked together now for about a year and a half. I'd love to be able to introduce other members of your team, other managers to coaching. Why don't, would you let me set up a couple of complimentary group sessions? And I set up two 75 minute sessions with three other managers that I have not worked with before. I, I've met them, but I've not worked with them before. And they really enjoyed it. They really embraced it. And each of them is a manager of finance, a manager of operations, and a manager of HR. It was very interesting because within that, so this is in Angola. One was Angolan, one South African, and one's Filipino. Mm -hmm. So you had a real multinational um, perspective amongst these three people. And I know that that's technically too small for a group, but it worked well because they've never communicated with each other in that way where they were there to listen with an open mind, support each other, and learn from each other's perspective. You now they get together and they, they obviously work as managers in group meetings, but they never communicate it in that way. And they mm -hmm. found it really um, uh, beneficial. So that I've just, I'll be submitting a proposal later today for a combination of individual and group coaching with them. Because after this, I went to each one of them and I said, what would you find the most benefit in? Purely individual coaching? a blend of individual and group each month or a few months of individual followed with a few months of a blend, you know, one session as a group, one session individually. And they all elected that. Yeah. So this is one, one we're talking about maybe best practices right now that's that are working is offering some type of a, um, of a complimentary group session to uh, past clients Yes, that, that could actually hire you on for more work. Exactly, exactly. And another, another. Hopefully, it will turn into what I think it will turn into. Um, is the chief operating officer of a company? I know her, and they have completely canceled all coaching within the company. And she's soon to be promoted to CEO in the next few months. And I, I had a a conversation with her, market research conversation, actually, to learn more about her challenges and challenges that she envisions her team members have, particularly as she moves into this new role. And I said, listen, the, the higher you go in an organization, the island gets more and more remote. You don't have anybody around you. And now 
is not the time to go into this new role unsupported during a pandemic when everything is changing, which means you have to continually be adapting. So I'm going to go into it. I've, I've offered her a very um, unusual pricing, you could say, <laughs> creative pricing, mm -hmm. right? But the intention is because I truly do want her to be supported during this. Mm -hmm. I know how important it is. I know she knows how important it is. She's had coaching before. So I'm, to, you know, it's, it's not complimentary, but it's something else that is, um, it's very um, creative, shall we say, with yeah, the intention uh, of serving her. Right. But this is a client you've, who's already paid you so much money before, and you want to keep her moving during this time, no, right? No, this, this would be a potentially a new client. Oh, potentially new. Okay, good. Yes, which, which could lead to work within the organization if it all works out. So I'm willing to take that, you know, mm -hmm. that um, different approach yeah. in this particular situation. Yeah, I think it's great. So... Scott, I know you've been grounded a bit on your travel. Five uh, months. <laughs> I know. Can you see his face? <laughs> uh, like what? <laughs> yeah. So, um, what what advice do you have, if any, for this is kind of on a personal level for people who are kind of trying to stay safer at home, but also stay sane at the same time? Learn, learn, and <laughs> learn. I recently was on a radio interview and was asked that very same question, you know, how, what advice do you have for people during this time? And I said, learn something and continue learning and then do something with it. You know, and one thing I will say is that I've been really fortunate being a coach is that it allows me for every time I'm in a coaching session is to step out of my life and step into the client's life and be there as that create partner creating the changes that they want to create. And it's been really great. So I would say, take the focus off of you, but that's one, one tip. You know, do something different, you know, give something to somebody, um, dedicate your time to something, volunteer, whatever it might be, help somebody with something. But in the entire process, continue learning because we can't come through this and not be impacted and not be changed. And it's much better to be the pilot versus be on autopilot. Yes, be the pilot. This is this is one of those uh, airline metaphors, right? Yeah, pilot absolutely. I mean, you press the pilot. button, you put the autopilot on, but isn't it better to be the pilot and really determine where you're going to go? Yeah, and I want to say um, I'm so proud of you. I know you you've been in our quick start group, and um, I know you kind of resisted this group, but you've had some amazing results. Tell us about your results. Let me tell you why I resisted it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, yes, you've made the offer to me several times, and this is the time has never been better right now because it is that it is an opportunity for all of us to be different, to show up differently in the world. And uh, so here I'm going to say it publicly, right? I have been a little bit shy, particularly on social media. And because I've had the success that I've had in coaching with a lot more referral business, it's worked out really good. But I said, now is the time to be different. Now is the time to really step this up and, and, and shine and do, and, and share what it is that, that I do, because I know that it helps the clients because they tell me it does. Their wives tell me it does. Their employees <laughs> tell me it does, right? So I know it's working. I, I trust the coaching process. And I said to myself, okay, you know, Karen's on to something here. Yeah, let me do it. Within five weeks, uh, six weeks, maybe five or six weeks, I have never worked. I, I won't call it work. I've never put as much effort, dedicated effort into my coaching business in the last nine years as I have in these few weeks, which is really something impressive because um, there's an accountability structure within the Quick Start Intensive, which is tremendous. There is the, the weekly either open office hours where we can all connect as a group and ask our questions and receive coaching from you, but then learn from each other. So very much like a group coaching approach, which I love. I love the the, the other the other weeks where we can learn new materials, such as today or a couple of weeks ago. Having that accountability, having that structure, was something I had never created for myself within the coaching business, mostly because I didn't need to. And and I think actually I think because of being coming from corporate, I probably resisted that structure because I had to be so structured in corporate that I said, I'm doing this on my, you know, my mantra is success on my terms or your terms if it's the client. So, but there is a way to have that accountability and to have that structure and still create success on your terms. So I would highly, here's the plug for QSI. I would <laughs> highly encourage, seriously, I would highly encourage every single coach, if you want to create 
not just to create, if you want to design a coaching practice that really works for you to join QSI, join the Quick Start Intensive. It is, it really will take you to a different level. And six weeks in, I'm 75% to my income goal, which I didn't expect. And it continues to work. Yeah, it is. And I didn't expect it either just because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. So there's a lot of lessons here for the coaches. Number one, I have asked Scott probably a half a dozen times in the last year to join this QSI. And every time he's told me no, but that doesn't stop me from ask, making that invitation again. And now he said yes, and look at his results. So if you're if you're inviting people into programs, just keep inviting them. You you weren't offended when I invited you again, you know. No, you? no, I wasn't. I wasn't offended at all. I had to chuckle because you've done it now so many times. <laughs> and I said, and I even, I think, I, even my email back to you, I said, oh, you are persistent. I got to give you that, <laughs> which is which is important for me because I wasn't ready all of the other times. Mm -hmm. But after what's happened in the last few months and having time to consider where I'm going with this coaching practice, and said to myself, okay, now it's time to step it up. Mm -hmm. It's really time to step it up. I, I Why not have the structure to support that? The timing was perfect. Yeah. yeah. And what has what has be making 75% of your goal and really understanding the structure you're going to have in your own business that's going to help you make money, what has that meant to your life during this time? Well, it's made it less, uh, what's the word? It's increased confidence, number one, but it's made it less intimidating. Mm -hmm. For example, Taking the time to to schedule time to understand LinkedIn, how LinkedIn really works, for example, and then actually using LinkedIn like it could be used instead of just going in here and there without any sort of a plan is has been a huge confidence booster. So I would say it increases confidence. It 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 makes it easier. I mean, your mantra is success with ease and joy. I would say it's exactly that. It it does really help the ease and uh, increase the confidence, which can only well, come through in the coaching sessions. And it is true. You have said to me, I've worked harder in my own business in the last five weeks. But yeah. even though you, it, it really isn't hard work, but it's a lot of focus no. that you've br brought here, but it's paid off. That's the thing that I think right. is really exciting for you. Right. Right. And, and that's only in these weeks. So I, I'm more than confident that it's going to continue now because of the structure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. By the end of the 12 weeks, you'll probably hit be over for 150% of your goal, if I know you. I hope. <laughs> right. Well, there's that other proposal that's going in today. So exactly, for three watch. managers. So yes, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> yeah. So, so Scott, um, thank you so much for really sharing with the coaches. I think you're such an inspiration uh, to all coaches. And what advice, if any, would you give to coaches right now who are a little worried about things with the pandemic, who are saying, well, how can I even invest in something like the QSI when I'm not bringing this money in in my business? Well, I will say this, maybe it's not QSI right now. Maybe it's, you have another program that is very good that I participated in, which is Niche Remedy, which maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's Niche Remedy. Maybe it's, it's being a part of Business Boost, but it's, it's really making the time in your life to make your coaching practice a priority. You know, if we don't take it seriously, it's not going to give us the results we ever expect. So the minute we start to make it a priority and take some deliberate actions towards what it is we want, then we'll start to see the results. So I would encourage everyone to number one, continue learning and find a support network, get a coach, you know, if, if you need to look at if you're in the ICF, I have taken advantage of ICF peer coaching many times, and it's worked out really mm -hmm. well. It's a low cost way to have barter coaching. You know, I've worked with you, Karen, it's been phenomenal. I would not be where I am today with this coaching business and having re transformed actually not just redefined, but transformed my life from being a corporate employee to having this practice and being able to support other leaders. So get the support, get a coach, join QSI, join Niche Remedy, do what you got to do to continue learning and move forward. Yeah. And one of the things that you don't know, because this is not, you're not going to need this, but we do say that whatever you, whatever you uh, invest in QSI, if you don't make that back in the 12 weeks, at least that amount that you get, you can come to the next one for free. 
So oh, you really you have a longer runway. Like I said, you don't need this. But anybody who is is wondering about this, you know, I would I, I would really recommend look at Scott. I mean, look what he's doing during this pandemic. He's moving forward, and and it's great to have you in the community. And it's it's I'm just thrilled that you finally said yes to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am too. I am too, actually, absolutely. And I've never been busier than during the pandemic, which has surprised me too. But coaching has never been more needed than during a time like this. So true. All right, well, thank you so much, Scott, thank for you. sharing uh, and being such a great inspiration to everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you, Karen. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.